Hi, I'm David from Grid Kraken, and I'll be sharing with you some tips using the Git integration for Jira application. Creating a branch is very simple. To do that, just simply load a Jira issue. Then you have two places where you, when you can create the branch. One would be the Create Branch button under the Git Development panel. If you don't see this panel here, just make sure you, you click on the Show Git Development Panel option. Or you can use the Git Integration panel for that. You'll notice that on the right-hand side of the screen, the Open Git Integration button is enabled. Let's click on it. Now, under the Branches section, we can click on Create Branch. Once the dialog has been loaded, then we can select the repository. Then you can define the source branch. In my case, I'm just going to leave the, the main branch. And finally, the Git integration for Jira plugin will provide this branch name. You can override it though. Let's click on create branch. And that's it. That's simple. The branch was created. If you follow this link here, you will see the branch recently created, but this time in your Git provider. If you don't want your users to create or delete branches, you can disable that option. To do that, simply click on the Apps menu. Let's select Manage Git Integrations. Then we'll select on the left-hand side of the screen the General Settings. And now we'll scroll down until we'll see the Git Integration Options section and then we'll uncheck the Enable Create Delete Branch option. Scroll all the way down and click on Update. Now if we go back to the Jira issue and refresh the page, you will notice that it is not possible to create a branch. Creating a pull request is very simple. Just load a Jira issue. Then on the right-hand side of the screen, let's click on Open Git Integration. Now let's click on Create Pull Request. Now let's select the repository. Let's make sure that we, this, that, that we select the source branch and the target branch. And finally, you can override the name if you want, but in this case, we'll click on Create Pull Request. Okay, the pull request was created. If you click on its name, you will be able to see its details in your GitHub or Git Server provider. To prevent users from creating pull requests, you can disable that option. To do that, just simply click on the Apps menu. Then we'll choose Manage Integrations. We'll click on General Settings. And we'll scroll down until we see the Enable Create Pull Request option. Let's uncheck this. Scroll all the way down and click on Update. Now, if we go back to our issue, you will notice that the option to create a pull request is disabled and the button to create a pull request is also hidden. Sometimes you may have noticed that when committing changes to your repositories, they don't reflect immediately in Jira. That's because the Git integration for Jira has an internal timer to discover those changes. As you can see here, I'm about to commit changes in my repository I make sure that I provide the Jira issue key. Now let's go back to Jira. And you can see that the commit didn't reflect here. To override this, you can configure indexing triggers. To do that, simply go to apps click on Manage Integrations, and then we'll select Indexing Triggers. 
we will need to provide these two fields into the repository setup. Let's click on settings, webhooks, and now add webhook. The payload URL would be the webhook URL. Let's click on content type and select application JSON. And then let's copy the secret key. Okay, we're almost done. Now let's click on let me select individual events. And let's make sure that the pushes and the pull request events are selected. Scroll all the way down and click on add webhooks. Okay, we are ready. Now, whenever I click on or add a change in my repository, they will be immediately reflected in Jira. As you can see now, two commits are displayed here.